Gareth Griffiths, I'm a fishing guide from South Wales. I've been guiding all for two years, really enjoy it, meeting uh, new anglers from all over the country, newbies, so taking out seasoned anglers who've been fishing for many years. A few lads coming out with me who struggle to catch certain species, which you know I can help help out with. We had plenty of taupe from ashore. But, uh, my client's biggest taupe is up to 56 pound. I did help a mate catch one, a British record, 82 pound. Do travel up to Scotland as well on a common skate, which I only take really my regulars up there because it's a long way to go and a lot of money and everything involved with travel and everything. So I like to take people out first before I uh, go venture up there. The rays, yeah, oh, we've had plenty of blonde rays. Also, I've been out guiding. We've had, I've lost count of the blonde rays we've had when we're not guiding. I think the biggest one we've had is about 18 pound at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure, the bigger nice, will eh? come, but. Yeah, we've had all, all the species of rays. Uh, I like to target all the rays during the year. We've had seven species. You've know, got the common skate, sting rays, blonde rays, small eyed rays, spotted rays, foam back rays, and your underlit rays down south. So that's one aim I, I aim to do every year. I've done it for the last five or six years. It's one target I like to do. Nice to meet uh, Ben Conway and uh, Grant Jones for the first time today. Come over to fish with me on uh, Friars Point. We got there at uh, high water and we fished four hours out over the ebb, which is not usually the best time for the blonde rays. But this time of year, all you're really likely to catch is a uh, whiting, codling, and the odd strap. Hopefully, the lads can get back over in uh, April and May and we'll show them what the blonde ray fishing is all about. We finished the session, we didn't have a bite down fryers. We went for, for a nice uh, bit of food, headed to West Wales, which I like to fish this time of year. Um, the afternoon night sessions can be really good.
nice one as well. Nice double figure bullet, uh, white in tail with a joey mackerel, just strapped it on. Lovely, nice, lovely conditioned fish. I reckon he's about 11 and a half, I'd give him. I'm gonna weigh him in a minute, put him in the net, send him back on his way. There's eyes on him. I love catching these. Some people eat them, but some nights you catch, you know, 10 or 20 of them and it's great fun. Didn't go as well as I thought it would tonight. We lost a few fish. We did have one nice bullet, a couple of straps and a few dogfish. But, um, yeah, it was a good session. Not the best, not the worst. Some nights you can catch up to two, three hundred pound in weight of fish. You know, with a mixture of bullers, topes, bird dogs between you. Much better fish than you're going to catch back up local on the local marks at this time of year. fishing now for about 38 years. I enjoy catching all different types of species, whether it be tope, bullers, rays, as long as the rod's going, I'm happy. I just use my Facebook for my guiding. Just add me on Facebook and you know, have a chat about what species you want to target. Do up to two or three day sessions. We'll bring a friend with you and split the cost between you. Obviously there's more than two of you and I'll charge for a bit more, but if it's just the two of you, you can split it between you like. So it helps you out, it helps me out, keeping me busy. Yeah, good crack, loves the fishing. <laughs>